This is my video log number three. It's been so, some time since the last one because last week I had holidays and I totally did nothing. So this week school started again and I started working on things again. So let's just say that there was a one week of free time. But yes, I'm actually almost finished with my school game uh, it only needs levels so I'll just start this and I also added sound with air clank or whatever that's pronounced air clank it has some open source music in the background some sound effects I made with beefy XR so this is the menu, It's the game is now called School Jumper. Uh, I couldn't leave School Madness because, uh, yeah. So the, the level editor, it's the same as before, nothing new. Continue game, yeah, I uh, implemented saving. So if you go on new game, this is where the instruction page will show up. If you press a new game, it will show you the buttons that, it can u that you can use in the game. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there, it's still the old levels. As you can hear the sounds, I hope they are very simple sounds. But yeah, the levels are still the same. I'll probably delete most of those in the following game. But yeah, if we can see us. This is the level, you go out and do continue, and you can continue from here. So that's basically the game. Uh, you, I hope you won't have to see it again. Maybe in one more log, when I'll show the finished game. But I have been working on other things. I've been learning OpenGL. Well, I know OpenGL, but I have been learning advanced stuff like uh, frame buffers, uh, proper 3D and things like that. So let me just show you a demo of some 3D stuff I've been working on. So you're the blue guy and the pink squares are like building. So this is like a top-down game. It's not a game, it's just a demo where I have been testing my new learned 3d things so you can move around and I can tilt the camera around there's still some weird glitches I still have to look into that but yeah I've been just trying things with OpenGL some more advanced 3d things um, as you can see, there's no collision. You, you can go th right through the building, but that doesn't matter. It's just graphics. As you can see, the buildings are also also light. Lightning works. It's old OpenGL lightning, but it's good enough for me because I won't be doing any complex lightning stuff just for changing the colors up a bit. So that's that demo. I can show you what I've done with the frame buffers. It's basically fake 2D sh shadows, like the everything is black and there are like torches and things that emit light and you can only see that part of the screen, something like that. I had a screenshot, I posted it on the blog. So, uh, oh no, I actually posted an old picture on the blog. But yeah, it's basically something like that. Uh, I also worked on some C sharp game for school. We had to we're learning C sharp currently, and we had to make a memory game. And we were like, we should have done it like all uh, because we're totally learning stuff in the designer. Like I should pull things on the screen and then work from that. But I created it totally dynamic so we have this 
we start a new game, easy game, and there's a timer in the bottom left corner. Uh, so it's as simple as it gets. Uh, just a memory game. And when you win, you just input the name video and it creates a high scores. Well, it's position zero. That should be fixed, but it's okay. We have three difficulties, but I won't even try this one. But yeah, it works. That's basically all the things I've been working on lately. Also, don't expect any 3D games. That was just for me to learn some things that could be used in Android game programming because Android uses OpenGL S and that's a thing I have to learn but yeah the game is almost finished and I hope that I'll soon be able to show you the secret project well we'll see about that but yeah that's all for now and expect a new video next week